guys hey Amy here um, so we are continuing on with design space and today we are going to be talking about attach and attach and group and weld sometimes get confused but um, attach you will use if when you want to have text or images or something stay exactly like they are so it's kind of like taking a picture freezing it and that's how the cricket will cut it out so say we are gonna add um, Christmas and then add another to you and we will change this say something like this just as an example um, okay so a few things I've talked about with um, text in past videos so with the script font we want to make sure that this cuts all in one continuous motion so right now if I left it like this and cut it these tags it's kind of hard to see but these kind of overlap you can see that line right there and this would cut so with script anytime you see an overlapping is when you want to use weld so I'm going to come down and go to my combine and weld so now that disappears so I'm going to do that with both of my cursive fonts okay another way to use weld is you see that these overlap um, these would cut out separately if I want those to be one continuous and not cut out separately I would weld those together Oops. so I'm just going to use my cursor and drag over both of these and combine and weld okay so you see how that now is one thing okay so when I would use group is when you're kind of doing a bunch of stuff on InDesign space and you want to keep this exactly how it is. So because right now it's separated and if I go, you know, I accidentally move it and things like that. So to group it, you're just going to drag your cursor over both of them and up here on the right is the group. And so now this is together. And so as I move it around, um, it stays together within the program but if I go to make it actually this one okay and let's just add some other images just to kind of just kind of to give examples here Okay, so say I'm going to cut these all out of the same color. So I'm just going to make these gray. So now if I went to kind of move these around, this stays together so I don't accidentally grab one versus the other. Okay, and if I go to make it, you'll see how it moves everything around though on the mat. So this is trying to save space. So it does move the things around. Um, this one is welded together, so that will stay it as it is. But you see the two U moves. So in order to keep this exactly how I want it, this is when attach would come in. So even though it's grouped, it is not attached or frozen in place. So I'm just going to come down and click this attach on the right side. And now when we go in to make it, it is exactly how we want this one to be. Okay. So we'll move these ones around. But say if we want, I mean, obviously this doesn't go together. I'm just trying to give an example. Say we want this down here and this right here. We want this. So I would select all of these either by dragging my cursor or using the select all up here and attach these. Okay, so then when I go to make it, and you'll notice once you attach, that over on the layers panel it shows everything that's under that attached so when I go to make it it's like frozen in place exactly like this If you're using any kind of vinyl iron on vinyl things like that this is when you will use this mostly if you're cutting this out of cardstock it really doesn't matter um, because all these letters you're gonna have to pull it off the mat separately and glue it down 
So that is kind of when you will use attach when you want to freeze things in place and cut it out exactly how, how you see it on the canvas. The welding is mostly um, with script fonts, but also anytime you're kind of overlapping and wanting things, say if you're making, you know, some shapes, say you want to make kind of like a mouse or something. Um, I'm just going to duplicate this two more times. Actually, just one more time because I want them the same. I'm going to put that up here, duplicate that again, bring it over here. This is kind of where your align tools can come into play. I'm going to click this one, hold my shift, hold that one to select them, align it to the top. And then now, see how these are overlapping here? And if I go to cut these out, it's going to move them all around and they're not going to be there and it's not going to be one image. So I'm going to select all of these and click on weld. Okay. So it does the same thing. And I know now that design space came out with the combined tools, um, gets confusing about the unite and things like that. The unite does the same thing. If I went in and you can see here, um, if I click on Unite, it's going to do the same thing and make this um, all the same thing. So it really kind of has to do with outlines and things like that. But um, we're going to get into those tools in the next video. But I just kind of wanted to show you the weld does a lot of stuff. You can make all sorts of things um, by welding different images, different shapes, different letters together, and things like that into a brand new image. So that's what you're kind of making with that, with the weld. Okay, and then the attach is just kind of freezing things as you see it on the screen in place. And so it show, it keeps it that way. Okay, so attach also comes into play when you're doing like writing um, with a pen or foiling, things like that. You want to attach it to um, something else you're cutting out. Say you're doing a tag or something like that. So I'm just going to grab a, let's go to images and type in tag up here. We're going to just click one, add it in, and say I'm going to add text and put happy holidays on it. And I am going to come up here and change this to a writing font. And let me grab this one. Okay. Okay. So right now it's a basic cut, but we're going to change it to, we're going to write this with a pen. And then I'm just going to change my pen by clicking on that square there. I'm going to use, say, a glitter gel and the dark rose color. Okay. So say something like this. So right now, if we go to make this and do on mat you'll see that it comes up separately, okay? So it's not frozen in place. So we're going to, so this is why we need to attach it. So we need to attach these letters or the foil or whatever to that tag because we want it to cut around this and then write these letters, okay? So I'm just going to use my cursor or the select all, grab both of these and click on the attach. So the difference here between the attach, if I click the flatten, it will turn it into a print and cut. So if you want this to print and then cut around it, you can do that. But so if you want to actually use like the draw or the write function within Cricut, you need to use the attach. So now when we go to make it, okay, so everything is stuck together. And then when you go to continue and design the space, will tell you exactly which pen to load and it will cut that out. Okay, so those are kind of the main ways um, when you're beginning that you will use attach. Um, hope that kind of helps to tell you when to use attach versus group and then getting the weld in there. So just kind of remember that attach just kind of freezes everything into place, um, kind of like you're taking a picture of it. And that's exactly how you want it to look when you go to, to cut it or do the right or the foil or whatever you're doing. 
Okay, so make sure you hit that subscribe button below and so you don't miss any more videos coming out and I hope you have a great day.